published, 145 EDT, the 20th of April 2018, updated, 1212 EDT, the 20th of April 2018 Britons are baking in the sun today as thousands skipped work to bask in the summer-like weather which has sent temperatures soaring. Many workers stayed away from their desk jobs and hit parks and beaches instead as the country enjoyed temperatures as high as 26 C, 78 F, unusually warm for this time of year. The highest temperatures nationwide were recorded in London, with St. James's Park goers experiencing 26.1 C, 79 F. As they headed out to sunbathe, Commuters questioned why their trains were empty this morning, with one saying, I wonder how many sick days or duvet days are called slash email in, but for some, the sunshine got a bit too much as Twitter users joked about needing to go back indoors because of their lobster-like sunburn. Supermarkets have braced themselves for a barbecue sweep as millions of sausages, burgers and chicken drumsticks have been flying off the shelves. Bookies have also slashed the odds to four-fifths for it to be the hottest April ever in Britain. Britons are baking in the sun today as thousands skipped work to bask in the summer-like weather which has sent temperatures soaring. Pictured our sunbathers in Brighton this afternoon members of the public take to the beach in Brighton and Hove as warm and sunny weather continues to hit the southeast Tregy. Two plays in the sand on Hunstanton Beach in Norfolk as the warm weather continues, left. As some Britons took to Twitter to tell of their sunburn, right, a woman runs in front of coloured beach huts in Blythe. Britain continues to bask in the hottest weather of 2018 with high temperatures and blue skies across the country around 50,000 beach visitors are expected in Brighton tomorrow, with 25,000 at Bournemouth and 25,000 at Blackpool. Day trippers will clog roads with traffic jams due on coastal routes including the A23 to Brighton, A31 to Dorset, A30 to Cornwall and M55 to Blackpool. There are also likely to be queues on the M3 to the south coast of England, M4 through to Wales and A303 from London to the southwest. Anyone wanting to escape the capital are being warned M25 traffic jams could be worse than usual. Motorists looking to head to the east coast of England should be wary of potential traffic jams in the region this evening and tomorrow. Simon Williams from the RAC told Mail Online, I think it's safe to say we have had such a terrible winter and not a great Easter either that motorists are going to be doing all they can to enjoy the coast and other beauty spots in this hot weather. All the usual places will be affected, particularly with people heading to Devon and Cornwall in the southwest of England. The weather outlook forecaster Brian Gaze said, warmth will last into the weekend, beaches will be busy. A spokeswoman for Brighton and Hove City Council told Mail Online, after such a long winter, everyone wants to make the most of the sunshine and the city's beaches and seafront have been busy for the last few days. It's hard to give exact figures, but with their first hot weekend of the year in prospect, we're expecting tens of thousands of people to head to the beaches over the next couple of days. Yesterday was the hottest April day for nearly 70 years, with temperatures reaching a sensational 29.1 C, 84 F, in St. James's Park in London. But for some people, it meant it was too hot to sleep last night, with many venting their frustration on social media. Parks in London are full of sun worshippers today as workers leave the office early to enjoy the good weather as temperatures in the capital reach 26.1. Pictured, Cavendish Square a family enjoy punting through Westgate Gardens during the warm weather in Canterbury, Kent St Paul's Cathedral pictured in bright London sunshine this afternoon as temperatures reach 26.1 C, 79 F. A woman strips off to sunbathe on the third day of hot weather in St. James's Park as the temperatures soar in London Kai, 4, plays in the sand on Hunstanton Beach in Norfolk as the warm weather continues. Ahead of the weekend lunch workers enjoy the spring sunshine on Potter's Field Park near City Hall, London Bridge this afternoon people enjoy the sun in Brockwell Park, South London.
As record April temperatures continue in the capital dog walkers enjoy the warm sunny weather in Richmond Park, London, during a heat wave causing temperatures to rise above average for April walkers make their way along Long Sands Beach in Tynemouth. Britain continues to bask in the hottest weather of 2018 with high temperatures and blue skies across the country two women are pictured looking out onto London from Parliament Hill as the capital basks in the hot sunshine on Friday but the wrong type of heat is being blamed as the April heat wave is too hot for trains with thousands of passengers delayed as network rail halves some train speeds as rails risk buckling, delays hit Great Western Railway services near London Paddington and TfL rail trains near London Liverpool Street on Thursday. Greater Anglia also had heat delays reported by travellers, Twitter user Firebird71 tweeted, It's the wrong kind of heat. The rail network wasn't prepared. Those who did head to work as normal were desperate for the day to end so they could get out of their stuffy offices and enjoy the sunshine. Alan and Daphne Smith enjoy the weather outside their beach hut in Hearn Bay, Kent. As the temperatures soared, some of those who did have to go to work today were able to enjoy the spring sunshine on their lunch break near City Hall in London. A young woman enjoys a twist rice lolly to help cool herself down in the sweltering conditions at Green Park, London. A groundsman mows the lawn outside Windsor Castle in the sun, in Windsor. The venue of the royal wedding next month, Reggie, 2, left, and Kai, 4. Play in the sand on Hunstanton Beach in Norfolk as the warm weather continues Network Rail said it imposes speed restrictions, which usually halve train speeds, as direct sunshine threatens to buckle rails. Pictured is a woman sunbathing near the River Thames at London Bridge Two men enjoy an ice cream and a chat in the grounds of Winchester Cathedral this morning Network Rail said it imposes speed restrictions, which usually halve train speeds, as direct sunshine threatens to buckle rails. Hot but cloudy conditions cause fewer problems as the sunshine reaching ground level is weaker. Network Rail said, rails in direct sunshine can be 20 C hotter than air temperature. Rails expand as they get hotter and can start to buckle. A spokeswoman for Brighton and Hove City Council told Mail Online, after such a long winter, everyone wants to make the most of the sunshine and the city's beaches and seafront have been busy for the last few days. Pictured is Brighton Beach this afternoon lunch workers enjoy the spring sunshine on Potter's Field near City Hall as temperatures skyrocket in the British capital A Londoner gets some rolls up her top and shorts to get the most of the sunshine on ST. James's Park this afternoon it's a hard life. A lion at West Midlands Safari Park in Worcestershire is pictured sunbathing on its back as temperatures saw speed restrictions are imposed as slower trains exert lower forces on the track, reducing the chance of buckling. GWR said, speed restrictions into Paddington are because of the heat. TFL Rail said, speed restrictions are in place because of the hot weather. Thousands of people are expected to head for parks and beaches to sunbathe in the scorching temperatures today, as commuters questioned why their trains were empty this morning. Plutfields Park in Manchester was pictured covered in litter today after sunbathers flocked there today and yesterday. People enjoy running with their dogs in the sun in Brockwell Park, South London. As record April temperatures continue in the capital pictured is a blossom in the sunshine in the walled garden at Grey's Court in Oxfordshire Met Office meteorologist, Alex Burkill, said, It's going to be pretty hot again, with a lot of sunshine around. We will see highs of 26 C, 27 C and maybe 28 C in the London area. Low twenties are likely for much of England and Wales, while Northern Ireland and Eastern Scotland will see temperatures in the high teens. As Britons basked in the glorious sunshine, many went wild for countdown lexicographer Susie Dent's word of the day, beaking. Pictured our sisters Lauren, left, 28, and Liz, right, 21. Soaking up the sunshine in Winchester's Abbey Gardens commuters make their way through Westminster in central London in warm early morning sunshine rowers pass by the embankment in Richmond, London, as they enjoy the hot sunny weather in the UK today's highs are likely to be around 28 C, 82 F, in their southeast.
the Met Office said, with most parts enjoying warmer conditions than normal for the time of year she tweeted, word of the day has to be beak. 1300s, to bask in the sun and give yourself over to the warmth of its rays on your skin. Her followers responded with glee at the topical term, with people saying they had been beaking off work, while one person said she was reading this while beaking in the park apostrophe. All four home nations enjoyed their hottest day of the year so far, with everywhere seeing a high of at least 20 C, 68 F. On Thursday, Met Office meteorologist, Alex Burkill, said, it's going to be pretty hot again, with a lot of sunshine around. People enjoy the sunshine at Grays Court, Oxfordshire all four home nations enjoyed their hottest day of the year so far, with everywhere seeing a high of at least 20 C, 68 F. On Thursday, pictured our walkers at Grays Court in Oxfordshire a dog stands and soaks up the sunshine in front of coloured beach huts in Blythe. Northumberland today another record-breaking day of unseasonably high temperatures is expected today in parts of the southeast a couple are pictured in summer outfits as they admire the good weather from Highgate swimming ponds in North London dog walkers and sun seekers make their way along Long Sands Beach in Tynemouth as the heat wave continues in Britain the UK is set for another scorcher today following the hottest April day in 70 years. Picture dar people enjoying the sunshine along London's South Bank. The hot weather, which is a result of warm air moving up from the Azores in the south, is set to last into the weekend. The London Marathon is forecast to be the hottest yet, with a high of 23 C, 73 F, possible, beating the 1996 record of 22.7 C, 72.9 F. Two people are pictured enjoying the unusually warm temperatures for this time of year at Grays Court in Oxfordshire. The hot weather, which is a result of warm air moving up from the Azores in the south, is set to last into the weekend. Pictured are people enjoying the sun on London's South Bank. British Prime Minister Theresa May walks with Commonwealth leaders as they arrive at Windsor Castle for a retreat on the final day of the Commonwealth Heads of Government. Meeting the sun rising over London seen from Acton, which has been experiencing its hottest April days since 1949 Britain is set for another scorcher today as April's summer-like weather promises a balmy beginning to the weekend. Pictured is the sun rising on the Thames near Gravesend in Kent the sun rises on the Thames behind tugs and other small boats this morning. Near Gravesend, Kent Met Office meteorologist, Alex Burkill, said, it's going to be pretty hot again with a lot of sunshine around. Pictured is the sun rising in Gravesend today air pollution, pictured in London last night. Levels are high in parts of the south and east, and moderate in parts of the north, the Department for Environment, Food and Rural Affairs said Mr Burkill said, it's going to be very hot and humid, and very close to, if not breaking the record. Race organizers have announced they will add more water, ice, and shower stations along the 26.2 mile route. Conditions may be especially difficult for fancy dress runners, including the almost 100 attempting Guinness World Records dressed in outfits like a suit of armor, a Paddington Bear costume, and ski boots. Regular runners are being advised to consider dropping their goal times and to run more slowly. The hot weather, which is a result of warm air moving up from the Azores in the south, is set to last into the weekend. Pictured is a heat map for today. Defra has warned vulnerable people to stay indoors because of high pollution levels from a toxic plume coming across from France and Spain. The government agency has warned levels will be at their highest today and tomorrow as subtropical air from the Atlantic mixes with dirty air from Western Europe. Patients with lung and heart problems have been told to avoid taking part in any strenuous activities outdoors and to stay indoors, if they have any discomfort. DEFRA also said asthma patients may find they need their inhaler more than usual because of the continental airflow. They also warned of isolated pockets and of moderate pollution along the coasts, and pollution from factories, power stations and vehicles can worsen problems caused by the toxic bloom. Figures show around 29,000 Britons are killed by air pollution each year, 15 times more than the amount that die in road accidents. 
with over 40,000 runners taking to the capital for the 26.2-mile race in two days. Organizers are warning them not to wear inappropriate fancy dress and look after their health. Event director Hugh Brasher said, Their weather forecast for Sunday is currently predicting the hottest London marathon on record at around 23 degrees Celsius. The previous highest temperature on race day was 22.2 degrees Celsius in 1996 and 2007. We will continue to monitor the forecast closely as we all know that weather forecasts can change. Our contingency plans for the forecast hot weather on Sunday include increasing the supply of water to all rinks stations to enable runners to douse themselves with water, increasing the number of showers on the route and increasing the supply of ice to first aid stations on the route. Most importantly, runners should adjust their goal for Sunday and plan to run at a slower pace. If they were planning to run in fancy dress, they should think carefully if that is appropriate in the forecast conditions. Air pollution levels are high in parts of the south and east, and moderate in parts of the north, the Department for Environment, Food and Rural Affairs said. People with asthma or lung and heart problems, as well as the elderly, are advised to reduce exercise levels in high pollution areas to reduce health risks, DEFRA guidance said. Pollution from factories, power stations and vehicle fumes worsens pollution from the continent. DEFRA said, today has the chance of localized high pollution levels near east coasts of England, with isolated pockets also possible in busy urban areas in southern and eastern England. The world's largest rhododendron which has burst into a spectacular bloom is in full color at the Tregothnan estate, Cornwall. The extraordinary 40-foot-tall rhododendron is thought to be one of the plants introduced to the stately home garden by Evelyn Boscowan, the sixth Viscount Falmouth, and his brother, the Honorable and Reverend John Townsend Boscowan. Over 100 years ago sunbathers flocked to the hot walls in Portsmouth yesterday morning to make the most of the sunshine. Daisy Goodman, 21, right and Ali Dixon, 27, left, enjoy the warm weather as they relax on deck chairs at Newcastle's Quayside Seaside on the banks of the River Tyne. Sunbathers made the most of the hot weather as they laid in London's Greenwich Park on the warmest day of the year so far. A young woman is pictured making the most of the sun on the beach in Bournemouth, Dorset as temperatures soared to their hottest level in April since 1949. Supermarket chiefs are stockpiling beer, cider and sun cream as the min heat wave sweeps in. Sainsbury's predict a 300% rise in demand for sun cream and a 100% increase in sales of fake tan over the next couple of days, so punters can look ready bronzed in the sunshine. They also estimate 70% more sales of beer and cider, a 30% uplift in rosé wine and a 150% increase in demand for ice cream. And as the barbecue gets dusted down for the first time this year, the supermarket believes sales of vegan and vegetarian food will soar by 130%. A Sainsbury's spokesperson said, It seems the whole country has been eagerly awaiting the warmer weather, and we're expecting our customers to celebrate the return of sunshine by bronzing with fake tan, cooling down with ice cream and firing up the barbecue. Tesco barbecue meat range by Natalie Basso said, After months of rain and with temperatures set to hit 25 C+, plus, this will be the first real opportunity Brits have had this year to get out into the garden and enjoy a barbecue with family and friends. Shoppers are wasting no time in stocking up for what is set to be a great few days of fun with al fresco cooking for a change. More than 8 million sausages. 2 million burgers and nearly 2 million chicken drumsticks are expected to fly off Tesco's shelves. Nearly 1.5 million punnets of raspberries, 3 million ice lollies and 1.5 million tubs of ice cream will also be downed. Waitrose said it has already seen sales of sun cream increase by almost 400% and self-danning up 241% yesterday versus the same time last year. Areas of moderate air pollution are expected across southern parts of the UK, with more isolated moderate levels in the north, mainly close to coasts. This is due to continental airflow. DEFRA guidance for high air pollution said, Adults and children with lung problems, 
and adults with heart problems, should reduce strenuous physical exertion, particularly outdoors. People with asthma may find they need to use their reliever inhaler more often. Older people should also reduce physical exertion. Anyone experiencing discomfort such as sore eyes, cough or sore throat should consider reducing activity, particularly outdoors. Around 29,000 Britons are killed annually by air pollution, 15 times more than the 2,000 who die in road accidents. Department of Health backed research shows supermarket chiefs are stockpiling beer, cider and sun cream as the min heat wave sweeps in. Sainsbury's predict a 300% rise in demand for sun cream and a 100% increase in sales of fake tan over the next couple of days, so punters can look ready bronzed in the sunshine. They also estimate 70% more sales of beer and cider, a 30% uplift in rosé wine and a 150% increase in demand for ice cream. And as the barbecue gets dusted down for the first time this year, the supermarket believes sales of vegan and vegetarian food will soar by 130%. A Sainsbury's spokesperson said, It seems the whole country has been eagerly awaiting the warmer weather, and we're expecting our customers to celebrate the return of sunshine by bronzing with fake tan, cooling down with ice cream and firing up the barbecue. Tesco Barbecue Meat Range by Natalie Basto said, After months of rain and with temperatures set to hit 25 C+, plus, this will be the first real opportunity Brits have had this year to get out into the garden and enjoy a barbecue with family and friends. Shoppers are wasting no time in stocking up for what is set to be a great few days of fun with al fresco cooking for a change. More than 8 million sausages. 2 million burgers and nearly 2 million chicken drumsticks are expected to fly off Tesco's shelves. Nearly 1.5 million punnets of raspberries, 3 million ice lollies and 1.5 million tubs of ice cream will also be downed. Waitrose said it has already seen sales of sun cream increase by almost 400% and self-tanning up 241% yesterday versus the same time last year. Race organizers have announced they will add more water, ice, pictured 2.6 tons being loaded up, and shower stations along the 26.2-mile route as Britons basked in the glorious sunshine. Many went wild for countdown lexicographer Susie. Dent's word of the day, beaking. She tweeted, word of the day has to be beak. 1300s, to bask in the sun and give yourself over to the warmth of its rays on your skin. Her followers responded with glee at the topical term, with people saying they had been beaking off work, while one person said she was reading this while beaking in the park. As Britons basked in the glorious sunshine, many went wild for countdown lexicographer Susie Dent's word of the day, beaking.